Hello and welcome back to another video on how to program a Discord Python bot. So today we're going to take a look at how to implement a function to translate text from one language to another. Now there are a number of ways you can do this and we will be using the Google Trans wrapper library for the Google Translate API. And that is quite easy to use. So let's just go ahead and install this first. So just write pip install and then Google Trans. There we go. And let's go ahead and import it. And let's make a new command. And as always, it's an asynchronous function. Let's call this translate. It takes a context. Then let's take as argument the language we want to translate to. And then also the text that we want to translate. Now we don't need to take as argument the language we translate from because we can actually deduce that based on just, you know, the text itself. That's one of the nice features about the Google Translate API. Okay, so yeah, before we begin, let's just add, uh, you know, an alias as well. Why not? TR, so it's a little bit shorter when we have to write this many times. Okay, before we begin, let's just start by lowercasing the language. There we go. Because uh, this language to variable has to match one of the, I can find it, one of the keys in this dictionary or in this dictionary here, which is this dictionary is just the, uh, this one uh, like reversed, as we can see down in the bottom of this page. Uh, we need to match one of these. You can either write uh, EN for English or you can write English. So, you know, we allow both, uh, but it needs to be lowercase, otherwise, it won't match. So, let's just ensure that. And let's also check that uh, it actually does match uh, one of these. So, Google Trans dot languages, it was called. So, if it's not like in this if it's not one of these keys here, if it's not a key in this dictionary, then we need to just raise a, like an exception. And if it's not in uh, Google Trans lang code, which is the reverse dictionary, as you can see down here. So basically one of these keys on the right. Then Let's just raise command start bad argument. If you want to learn more about these uh, sort of the error handling in Discord, this is a built in um, like exception in the Discord API. Uh, then I have a video on this if you're interested. Anyway, let's just write a message invented language to translate uh, text to. There we go, something like this. Okay. And now let's grab the text that the user uh, typed in. So we do this by, uh, you know, just joining it simply. There we go. Actually, I realized the other day that uh, this way of doing it that I did in a previous video is actually overly complicated. This is much, much simpler. So I'm going to refactor this as well. This is probably the easiest way in Python to just, you know, take all these uh, like uh, arguments, which is basically the string that we want to translate and just joining it by spaces. And yeah, that gives you the text in one variable. All right, so now let's create a translator, um, uh, well, object. So Google Trans dot translator. So this is a class, we make a new instance. And then we actually use this object to translate the text. So text translated is equal to translator dot translate. And this takes as argument text and then the destination, which is the language we want to translate to. And then we also want to ensure that what we get back is not like a response object, I think it is. 
Um, but we actually want the text. We're not really, we don't really care about the uh, other properties of that object, which is returned. Okay, and that's basically it. I mean, it's very, very simple, as you can see. And then we just send the result back to the person on Discord who invoked this command. And yeah, let me just verify that I didn't make any mistake. I guess this looks uh, pretty good. So let's just try and test this out. Okay, so we started the bot and we go back to Discord. Then let's try to actually translate some stuff. Let's just write TR because that was our alias, a little bit shorter. And then let's try to say, you know, um, I don't know, let's think of something here. Uh, let's type, um, let's say, okay, we want to translate, hello, this function is actually pretty useful. So this is the text we want to translate. You can also type it in uh, quotations if you prefer. Gives the same result. Uh, and then we want to translate this to German. Let's see if that works. Hello, this is Funktion. Is eigentlich ziemlich nützlich. Okay, that looks about right to me. Let's try to translate it to French. Uh, let's just write FR. Okay, yeah, I guess that works as well. My French is not as good as my German though, uh, but I think it's right. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. We can also try and go in the opposite direction, I guess. See how that looks. Hello, this function is actually quite, actually quite useful. Yeah, I guess it works. So as you can see, you know, hardly takes any any code at all to accomplish. So I think it's um, it's a neat feature to have for your part. So just go ahead and uh, draw the library and write this piece of code and you're good to go. So I hope this helped you out and I'll catch you in the next video.